India is on the moon. Exactly a year ago today, ISRO Chairman S. Somnath cemented India's status in the global space market with these words. Hello and welcome to The Print. I'm Soumya Pillai and I will be telling you about India's landmark moon landing last year, the Chandrayaan-3, and how the mission is shaping India's future space projects. The Chandrayaan landing anniversary today is being celebrated as the National Space Day across the country. On August 23rd, 2023, India became the first country in the world to land near the lunar South Pole and joined an elite league of only three other countries to land on the moon. The 20 nail-biting minutes before the successful landing of Chandrayaan-3 was preceded by years of preparation. In fact, India's space agency took serious lessons from the failure of its preceding mission, Chandrayaan-2. In 2019, four years before the successful landing of Chandrayaan-3, ISRO had attempted the Chandrayaan-2 mission. The rocket, however, crashed on the moon. The systems failed just minutes before the lander would have made a soft landing on the lunar surface, crashing India's hopes of joining the former USSR, the US and China as a country that has landed on the moon. The memories of that failure heightened the tension before the Chandrayaan-3 landing day last year. However, the efforts towards rectifying past errors also made the victory that followed even sweeter. The Chandrayaan-3 mission not only resulted in some significant in-situ experiments, confirming the presence of significant minerals on the moon and testing India's landing and rover capabilities, but also set the stage for testing technology for future interplanetary missions by ISRO. Senior scientists from ISRO explained, that while the Chandrayaan-3 module, consisting of a lander named Vikram and a rover named Pragyan, carried out its primary experiments, it was also successful in carrying out some bonus experiments that were not part of the initial plan. These extra experiments could happen because of the success of the landing under optimum conditions, with the module preserving ample fuel. On September 3, 2023, the Vikram lander carried out a hop experiment in which it fired up its rockets to reach a height of 40 centimeters and landed back. What needs to be noted here is that only a few countries have demonstrated the ability to take off from a celestial object and land again. Another experiment that the space agency successfully carried out was bringing back the propulsion module of Chandrayaan-3 from the lunar orbit into the Earth's orbit. Both these tests established India's capabilities of not just sending but also bringing back objects safely to Earth in preparation for its return lunar missions in the future. The success of Chandrayaan-3 became a watershed moment for India's space program. Since then, India has seen some big-ticket missions like Aditya L1, India's first solar observatory, and NAVIC, India's answer to GPS, and increase the pumping of investments into the sector by the government. The center's new space policy, released in 2023, has also opened the doors of the sector to private players. The policy has also demarcated specific roles of stakeholders, including more private partners in satellite building, technology and infrastructure development. This mission has also increased the focus of India's space program on lunar observations. ISRO is already ready with the designs of Chandrayaan 4 and 5, on the way to build its own space station by 2035 and land an Indian on the moon by 2040. All in all, 
the coming years are going to be even more exciting for the Indian space program. This was all from me. Thank you for tuning into the print. You were with Soumya Pillai.